All right, it's Dr. Anthony G. Beck, and this is a uh, reply for one of the members in Balance Nation, uh, Alicia, um, wanting to know about the vitamin K shot. All right, well, the cool thing about it is, is when you posted the question, you were already ahead of the game because you apparently asked um, the clinic or a health practitioner what is in the vitamin K shot that you'll be injecting into your newborn. Well, or not, if I have anything to do with it. So the thing about it is, that's first of all congratulatory because most people have no idea what they're injecting themselves or um, their kids. <clears throat> they just do it because of the lab coat and stethoscope, trust factor. You know, uh, serial killers, they use props. I'm just saying. <laughs> so anyhow, here's the thing. Um, then there's the natural vitamin K shot with those kind of ingredients that were in there. And without getting into the, the, the ingredients specifically and what they all are, <laughs> Um, the thing about it is, is the question really is, do you need it? Does the kid even need the vitamin K shot? Well, the vitamin K shot is typically given um, as a standard fare for uh, a prevention of hemorrhagic diseases of the brain for kids that are absolutely rare if you look at the numbers. And it typically only uh, uh, presents in cases of certain socio uh, and geoeconomic classifications okay so the first thing is it's not really a big need but if you want to lower the risk okay because vitamin K well the cool thing is is there's different versions of vitamin K right now in the shot is vitamin K1 there's K2 and uh, you know there's version 4 and 7 but instead of getting into all the treatise about those specifically just know that the vitamin K shot is typically uh, vitamin K1 so the thing is, and it's generally about a one milligram dose injected with a bunch of things like that polysorbate 80 and the sodium acetate and the glacial water, um, which is not like from glaciers, by the way. Um, the bottom line is, is none of that stuff needs to go into the body through um, pierced and injected into the system and forced upon it. Not adults, um, uh, especially not newborn kids. But sometimes we gotta administer drugs, I totally get it. Um, so where I'm going with this is, is that it really begs the question of, of need, and need is kind of one of those things that you have to think about based upon um, uh, probability, statistics, and things like that, not fear monitoring and worrying and all the other kind of fun stuff. But the next thing is, is very simply understood as, is that when it comes to K1, it can be delivered orally very easy and even to babies. It's that simple. So there is no need to inject it, period. So if you want to administer vitamin K, just do it orally for the baby. Now, there's different preparations out there of vitamin K. Um, so if you want, um, you know, K1, well, that's, that's the, you have to look for that. If you, uh, I think there should be a combination. Um, to do it right and without getting into shameless plugs for products and uh, brands and stuff like that I'll just go ahead and tell you that oral delivery of k1 to an infant is super easy um, The other thing is the reason why they give one big shot is because that's their only time They're gonna see in the hospital and send you on your way. So basically the shot is about a 20 some thousand 20,000 times the dose that is actually even needed um, So keep that in mind. So even if you took say a 100 microgram Remember, there's a thousand micrograms per milligram. So a 100 or a 200 microgram little soft gel, all you gotta do is just break it open, cut it with some scissors, and right in the baby's mouth, not a big deal. You can also apply it straight to the uh, to the mom's nipple and put the kid on there. There's another way of delivering it. Um, if you are um, uh, bottle feeding, just drop it into the milk. It's uh, fat soluble with the lipids that are actually in milk. Problem solved. So you can avoid the vitamin K shot, regardless of all the dogma, whether it's needed or not, if it's healthful or not. Um, just the trauma for the baby alone doesn't need to happen. <clears throat> so, long story less boring, no K shot for infants. Just give it to them orally, and then you want to dose it on with on um, on their tongue or in their bottles uh, multiple times for the first um, you know week or two. Now, here's the fun thing about it: is you're not going to overdose on it. You're not going to hurt or harm a baby uh, by giving it too much unless you drown it in it. <laughs> I guess that would be too much. So anyhow, problem solved. Say no to the vitamin K shot. It's not needed. You can deliver vitamin K orally and avoid all that stuff being penetrated into the kid's skin. Any type of adverse reactions like infection from the needle site and all the other kind of fun stuff that should be on the informed consent. Or do you just, you know, like most people, they'll just, you know, sign off on it and just stick my kid with it, whatever you want because you got the lab coat and stethoscope on or those big, you know, Tommy Bahama looking floral pattern of scrubs. Never trust somebody who wears, you know, floral scrubs. That's what I say. Anyways, hope this answers your question, guys. Have fun at 
And until uh, next time, let's live life in balance.